Every now and then when you're flying IFR and you're talking with ATC, they may issue you a hold. Now this could be for several reasons. Among other things, it could mean there's weather ahead, traffic delays, you could be flying a course reversal, or you could just be flying a missed approach procedure. No matter the reason, you as an instrument rated pilot should be able to execute and enter these holds no problem. A holding pattern is a racetrack shaped oval with two straight sides connected by half circles. The hold is anchored by a fix. This fix can be anything that you can identify with navigation equipment, such as a VOR, an NDB, an intersection, a radial and DME distance, or a GPS fix. A standard hold always consists of right turns with one of the straight legs ending at the holding fix. The leg you're flying when you're headed towards the fix is called the inbound leg, and the leg you're flying when you're going away from the fix is called the outbound leg. If there is no published or given distance for each leg of the hold, then you should fly one minute legs. This one minute leg is referring to the inbound leg. So if you're dealing with wind, you may have to adjust your outbound leg time to allow the inbound leg to equal one minute. You will start your timer when you have crossed the fix or you're abeam the fix, whichever occurs later. If you are issued a hold, you will always be given three pieces of information. A fix to hold at, the direction for the fix of the inbound leg, including the radial or airway, and an expected further clearance time, or EFC. Without these three things, you won't have enough information to fly a non-published hold. We'll go through some examples of this at the end of the video. There are also speed limits to consider. From the surface up to 6,000 feet, you may not go faster than 200 knots in a hold. From 6,001 to 14,000 feet, the speed limit is 230 knots. And from 14,001 and above, you may not go faster than 265 knots. So now that we know how to fly a hold, let's talk about how to enter one, depending on where your aircraft is coming from. There are three types of hold entries, parallel, teardrop, and direct. To find out which one we will use, we first have to find out where our airplane is in relation to the holding fix. Let's assume here that we're going to hold at the 090 radial from a fix with standard right turns. The first thing we need to do is draw an imaginary line through the fix and the holding course, dividing both sides into 70 degree and 110 degree sectors. The larger side here on the right that includes the inbound leg will be direct entry. This is because we're already set up to make easy right hand turns after intercepting the fix. The medium sized space in the upper left would be a parallel entry meaning we would fly outbound from the fix after crossing it for one minute, then we would make a standard rate left turn to intercept the inbound leg. Then we would just fly the inbound leg back to the fix and begin the holding pattern. The small sector to the bottom left would mean we would use a teardrop entry. To do that, we would first fly to the fix. After crossing the fix, we would fly outbound at a 30 degree angle from the inbound leg for one minute. Then we would make a standard rate right turn to intercept the inbound leg and start flying the holding pattern. So let's take a look at a couple examples that you may see on your test. What is the recommended procedure to enter the holding pattern if this ATC clearance is received? Clear to the XYZ Vortac, hold west on the 270 radial. First we look at the Vortac and note that the question says to hold west. This is referring to the location of the inbound leg heading towards the Vortac. So we will hold west of the Vortac while using the 270 radial as our inbound leg. Since the clearance did not specifically mention which way to turn, we are to assume that the standard rate right turns are going to apply. Meaning our holding pattern will look like this. Then we need to draw a line through the fix in the holding course, dividing the area into 70 and 110 degree sectors. Now remember, the 180 degree sector to the side with the inbound course is going to be our direct entry sector. The big one is direct. The small wedge to the upper right will be our teardrop entry sector, and the medium wedge below is our parallel sector. So now that we have that figured out, the next step is to figure out where our airplane is. Looking at this HSI, we can see that the airplane is on the 055 degree heading going to the station. Now think back to your knowledge of tracking VORs. If we are tracking to the station with the course tuned to 060, that means we're on the 240 radial, the reciprocal of the 060. This would put us southwest of the station 
in the direct entry sector. So there's our answer, direct entry. Let's do one more. What is the recommended entry to the holding pattern if the following clearance is received from ATC? Hold east of the XYZ Vortac on the 0 9 or 0 radial, left turns. So again, first we draw out the Vortac and the radial that we're going to be holding on. Then we note that our clearance has given us left-hand turns. So we draw the hold like this, inbound on the 0 9 0 radial, and then a left at the XYZ Vortac. Now we can draw our line putting the inbound leg in the direct entry sector. So we have our hold and our sectors drawn out. Let's find the airplane. This question gives us the same HSI as the previous question. So we know that we are tracking the 06 radial inbound, which puts us southwest of the station on the 240 radial. Only this time we're holding on the opposite side. So that puts us in this sector here, making it a parallel entry. When you get these questions on your test, take advantage of the scratch paper that you're given. Break down every question just like we did together and scratch down every single element. If you do that and really break it down into different pieces, you'll do great on the test.